Hello, welcome to Quest 4, Module 4, Writing Poetry. We're going to get started by looking at the directions. Select four words and use them to plan and draft a poem. For all intents and purposes, you will be provided with the word bank to do the poetry writing on your own. Let's look at the words that I've selected. From a list of words, I've selected the following. Heaven, wings, raindrops, and harp. Now I have to think about what I want the topic or controlling idea of my poem to be. Usually, when a person writes a poem, they think about a person or a situation. Based on the words that I've selected, I'm going to write a poem about my grandmother. The topic or controlling idea, as I said before, is my grandmother. The situation that I'll focus on is her transition from earth to heaven. The reason why I chose to focus on that particular situation is that it matched the words that are listed above. For example, heaven, wings, harp, and raindrops will be reminiscent of the sadness or the emotion that was felt during that time. Now I'm going to list several words and phrases that I can use to further develop my controlling idea and the situation. In order to think of words, I looked at each of my initial selected words and generated ideas related to those words. So for example, heaven. What part of a person goes to heaven? Their soul. So I wrote her soul. Wings. When a person has wings, I would imagine they would float and glide. So I wrote floating and gliding. Raindrops. Raindrops, when a person is transitioning to heaven, made me think of tears and the washing away of or the getting rid of in order to be happy. So I wrote down tears and wash away. Harp made me think of the melody created with music. I was able to identify tambourine as another instrument that would be used in a heavenly celebration. Now I'm ready to create a draft of my poem. My draft reads, Her soul purposefully drifting toward heaven, the ultimate reward, floating and then gliding with newly obtained wings. No raindrops or tears could slow her progress to her new home. The melody of joy made by the strumming of a harp's strings with the ringing of tambourines, welcome her into glory. Notice that I've used most of the words and phrases that I listed, with the exception of wash away. When you write anything, especially poetry, you want to give yourself the opportunity to revise. So I'm going to go back in and add wash away and revise my poem slightly. The revised draft reads, Her soul purposefully drifting toward heaven, the ultimate reward, floating and then gliding with newly obtained wings. No raindrops or tears could slow her progress to her new home. The melody of joy could not be washed away by earthly tears. The tune made by the strumming of harps strings and the ringing bells of tambourines welcome her into glory. When I went back in to add wash away, I also noticed that I included a single harp instead of many harps. I would imagine many harps would welcome an angel into heaven and so I made that revision. Additionally, I added a little more description in terms of earthly tears so that my audience would be reminded of the sadness that was felt and that would be juxtaposed with the joy that heaven would feel when it received one of its angels. Now you are ready to plan for, draft, and then revise your poem. Remember that poetry needs to be read aloud and that is how you will come to make a determination about what you will revise, what you will add, and what you will change. Thank you and good luck!